Cruz, I'm Benita Goa. Here's a tutorial for you on how to step forward as well as step back in a vinyasa flow class. I do this a lot in my Goa flows and you've been asking me a little bit more about it and asking me to give you a little bit more pointers on how to do it. So here it is. I'm going to be taking you through this as a voiceover and I've added a few arrows here and there to try to drive the point home of what you need to focus on. So I hope that this is going to be helpful. Please let me know if it is in the comments below. If you like this type or style of tutorial, I'm just trying out something new. I try to make them a little bit shorter, a little bit more concise, drive the point home as quickly as possible so that you will view it and learn something new that can help you in your practice. After it, I'm going to come back and I'm going to give you a few more pointers. So, enjoy! This is the way you want to avoid moving in a very disconnected way. Just notice how I'm just throwing my leg forward and not staying connected either to the abs or to the arms. I'm throwing my leg to the side here, lifting my body up in order to get out of it and it's not good. This way is a much more connected way. I'm engaging the muscles that need to get engaged. I'm paying attention. I'm very conscious as I'm moving and this is what we want to go for. The secret sauce really is in lifting up as high as you can. So draw the navel up into the spine, draw the leg as high off the ground as you can and root down into your arms, wrap the shoulder blades in and don't forget that the back leg is supporting you. Avoid crunching into your shoulders and also avoid crunching into your face. Draw the shoulders away from your ears, draw them up and wrap the shoulder blades into your armpits. As you're going to step the right foot forward, lift the left heel off, draw the body forward as you draw the leg as high up as you can, press down into the palms and wrap your shoulder blades in. A lot of abs here, a lot of stretch with the right side of your spine. To come out of it, root down into your arms, draw up into the abs, wrap the shoulder blades in, use that back leg and try to lift the right foot off to step it back. Same on the left side. Step the left foot forward, round it in, lift it up as high as you can go. And then to come out of it, root down, lift up, use the back leg as well and step it back. very helpful to use blocks so lift yourself a little bit higher off the floor and try to practice it that way rooting down into the palms lifting up using your abs like crazy round your back and step it forward and back from there all right that way you may, might be able to access the abdominal muscles more and feel the stretch through each side of your spine feeling your whole body integrated as one unit also, another thing that you can do is just step the foot as far forward as it wants to go and then take the ankle and then help it to go all the way forward. To come out of it, come onto your fingertips which is going to help to strengthen your fingers and your arms and then get into the core and step back. Alright, so this is also a great way but really round it in, draw up, step it just as far forward as it wants to go naturally. Take the ankle, help it along all the way to the front, and then to come out of it, come onto your fingertips, root down, draw up, round, and then step out of it.
hope that this has been helpful. The one thing that I wanted also to mention is that the proportion of your body, of course, makes a huge difference. Our proportions are very different. I think for me, my arms and my legs and my torso are sort of in right proportion to be able to step forward pretty effortlessly. I do notice a difference if my back feels tight, then of course then it's a little bit harder to step forward. But if you have shorter arms and a shorter torso and longer legs, of course it's going to be much more challenging to step forward. If you have longer arms, a longer torso and a little bit shorter legs, then it's going to be a little bit easier to step forward. So that is just basically the structure of your body. You can't do anything about it. We just have to surrender to that time. Just start to notice what muscles feel weak, what muscles feel strong, and how you can over time try to integrate them so that you can make this transition the best that it possibly can be for what you are able to do and capable of doing. So I hope that what I've shared with you will help you on this journey. Please let me know in the comments. I always love to hear from you. So feed me so I can keep feeding you. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and make sure that you've subscribed for more videos like this and yoga flows and all the good stuff. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye.